So every year, about this time of year, we start to prepare for spring runoff. So spring runoff, what happens there is the, uh, all the snow that has been sitting on the fields and the forests and in the, in the upstream in the watershed begins to melt. And it can melt fairly rapidly and the creeks uh, that have been frozen start to fill up with water and start to flow. They flow into the river, the river begins to, the ice on the river begins to melt and begins to break up. And so right now we have a very nice stable uh, quality of water in the North Saskatchewan River, our source water for the city of Edmonton. But that's going to change re very fast. There's two things we worry about uh, during the spring runoff period. And we, uh, first of all and foremost is the, the safety of the water. And uh, we won't produce any water and pump it into the distribution system unless it meets all the minimum requirements for safe drinking water. That's usually not the, the, the challenge. It, we have to treat the water and it, it, sometimes it takes a bit more effort to treat the water to make it, to make it safe during this time of year. But generally that we, we are successful in doing that. Where it's more challenging is removing some of the compounds that cause the odor. Um, during spring runoff what happens is the water that's uh, flowing off the, uh, into the creeks carries with it some sediment, carries it with a decaying organic matter from vegetation uh, into those creeks and it ends up in our, in, our, in our intakes at the water treatment plants. We do a number of things but one of the things that we do that's key is we add something called powdered activated carbon like charcoal, crushed charcoal and that's very absorbent, it absorbs things and then it's removed uh, from the water in the settling process. It's a very, very expensive chemical to add, so we have to be very careful about how much we add and uh, for how long we add it. So we have to time it very carefully and we have to optimize the dose. And that's one of the, the um, treatment changes we can make during spring runoff to try to address the odor issue. Not so much the, the making sure it's, uh, the water is meeting the safety criteria, that's something quite separate, but it, that's really just for making sure it meets, uh, we can manage the odor issue.